Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome to another BD Armoury update video. A bit of a different one today because we're going to be rolling in some content from the BD Armoury Extended mod, a, um, uh, a quote official mod uh, by the same devs. Um, because some of the uh, some of the bug fixes which have taken place in the most recent version of BD Armoury do quite heavily affect some of the BD Armoury Extended uh, Extended stuff. So we're going to be looking at a couple of those before we start looking at a couple of features in the core mod including one which I think a lot of people are going to be very interested in. In the background you can see a fight between my Cyclones and my Red Hawks. my Cyclones being armed with the Cluster Missile from BD Armoury Extended, um, which had a hideous bug in 1.6.8, which meant that it just released too many clusters, and <laughs> during a recent mailbag stream it caused my KSP to tank. It was down to about a frame a minute, and I had to restart the damn thing midstream. Um, but now it won't kill your frame rate, it will just kind of injure it a bit. Because <laughs> it's a lot of parts on screen at the same time. Um, but yeah, as per usual, there have been obviously a ton of bug fixes and changes since my last update video, so please read the change log, all the links in the description, etc, etc. Um, but yeah, let's, um, let's carry on with my little uh, curated selection of highlights. Kind of still on the theme of introduced and then fixed since the last update, we've got these little point defence turrets. This is the Honor Sid, by the way. This is my uh, little Akrana plan I built in a Smith Builds livestream. I haven't done a follow-up video on this like I do with most of the things I build there because this thing is kind of riddled with bugs. One of which during the stream was uh, me attempting to fit it with these for missile defence and it <laughs> not really working. Um, but apparently, according to the change logs, these have been fixed, so I look forward to seeing them in action. And they'll be going up against a little cyclone which is patrolling around the KSC. Let's, um, let's see what happens here. Okay, so the cyclone's coming for us. Time for us to deploy all our bits and pieces. Um, it's trying to get a lock with the, uh, trying to get a lock with the, uh, the little missile turret here which isn't working, which is one of the problems this had as I was testing it. Uh, it seems to be going... Yeah, it seems to be going at it with the... Um, with the uh, with the uh, goalkeeper. Oh my god, that's not supposed to happen. What is going on? Why are these things not working? Okay, here we go. It's coming in. Should be uh, firing another missile. It's got a lock. Here we go. Is it going to try and get it with the... No, it's not going to try and get it with the little uh, point defence guns. Although, okay, now they're going for the cyclone. <laughs> that's a lot of gunfire. Nothing happening, though. Oh, my God, that's a very close range thing. It looks like the point defence turrets did try and get it there. And, oh, my God, they're putting in a lot of damage there. Okay, they're working. Not as well as was discussed on the stream by some people who had used them previously. Um, but... Yeah, they seem to be reasonably effective. Waterman and Kerman coming around, firing a missile. That one looks like that's going to get a decent hit. Oh, that's a lot of gunfire. Oh, Waterman and Kerman loses quite a lot of stuff. Looks like he's about to lose a lot more stuff. More gunfire. There we go. Okay, so they're working. Um, maybe not as I'd hoped, but... I'm sure I can find some purpose for them. I don't know why. Maybe I need to actually get rid of the uh, goalkeeper cannon before the um, these will actually uh, do their anti-missile defense duties properly. But uh, I'll have to do some more testing. Anyway, let's um, let's move on. So back to the strictly core cool mod stuff, and this is something I kind of covered on a, another video. Um, but I just wanted to uh, to show it again because a it's some ridiculous one v one stuff you can do which I'm always a fan of and um, did I say a or one uh, well two slash b um, it, this is something I'm kind of responsible for being in the mod so yeah just wanted to show it off again <laughs> here we have two craft a cyclone and a red hawk neither of whom have any weapons whatsoever they're completely depleted of ammunition i have um, turned off infinite ammo uh, so we're just going to go start a fight and see what happens okay the fight starts and of course two craft without any weapons uh, if you've uh, ticked the right ai option they will just try and ram each other, and thanks to recent changes to the AI, they will actually now track each other much more accurately. They will just go straight up head to head. Now, this normally works, and I hope it works here. How are we doing? One kilometer. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. And neither of them 
<laughs> it's a tie. Both lose. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's see that again. Once more, then this time from the Red Hawks perspective. Red Hawks perspective. Um, yeah, previously, um, if both crafts were trying to ram each other, then they'd just um, have the normal algorithm, try and predict where the other craft would be, which tends to mean they would over-adjust and would end up flying off to the side and wouldn't really hit. But now, if both craft are trying to hit each other, they will just fly towards each other's centre of masses, and that will happen. Um, I think I think we can call that a victory for the Cyclone, <laughs> especially as the Red Hawk is just going to slam into the ground. Okay. Uh, we have one more change uh, I want to look at now, and it's um, it's a big one. So we're here on the runway with one of my spike tails, and this is a complete red herring. I just needed something to get us onto the runway so that uh, we get into flight mode, which allows me to do what I want to do next. Because this version of BD Armory contains a bunch of new updates for combat in space. Let's not do that in space. Um, so in order to get that going, I need to go to where are we, gameplay settings. I'm going to turn on vessel relative bullet checks. Very important for when your craft are flying thousands of meters per second relative to Kerbin. Yeah, fixes something that a lot of people have been complaining about with uh, when it comes to um, doing sort of orbital fights with BD Armory. And I have populated my uh, populated my auto spawn folder. Uh, I've changed um, vessel spawner options. I've to put this all the way down, free for all. So that should spawn uh, these vessels into uh, different teams. I just click on single spawn, and if we just wait a bit, and through the magic of editing, we have four craft all on their own teams. Ready for a free for all fight. Now these are all these are all using the brand new orbital AI, which is including in BD Armory. <laughs> oh god, this is going to be chaos. Um, yes, all these craft were sent to me by uh, Hosway, one of the BD Armory devs. I think it was Hosway. Apologies if not. And uh, these have all been uh, built by different people. Uh, the missile knows where it's at. Tim, Hosway, Oilwell, and Potatoish. Um, some of which viewers of my channel will be familiar with. Some of which you won't. But yeah, we're just going to go and get a, get a fight going. Uh, competition distance, 10,000. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. So they're all going to start flying away from each other. In fact, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to start the competition now. Let chaos reign. And they all come... Oh my god, it's all going already. There's, there's missiles flying, there's guns flying. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is the most glorious thing I've ever seen. If my wife asks, that does not include the birth of my son. Um... Ah! Oh. <laughs> There's anything dead yet. Anything dead yet. Now this thing seems to be dodging gunfire quite well and getting a lot in. Something's exploding. Does uh does does uh dogfight cam work? No, it does not. Um. Oh, think okay. I think this thing's in trouble. This thing's lost quite a lot of parts. Still uh still going though. Still pumping out the gunfire. Is anything gonna die at any point soon? Oh, you're taking some heavy hits, aren't you? Evading missile. Countermeasures everywhere. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. What's that gunfire going in there? That looks... Oh, something's about to die. We're down to three craft. We're down to three craft. Oh, this thing's dead. This thing is very, very dead. <laughs> Lempont Kerman, yeah, not using the uh, not using the uh, um, patron kerbals at the moment. I couldn't see how to get that option in there. Something, something's dying. It's just the two of them now. Just the two of these craft. Where, uh, where are they? Oh, got to close some distance first. Nine kilometers away from each other. Might have to be a bit more of a magic of editing thing. Oh my god, gunfire going in for that missile. Oh, but it's too late. That is a heavy hit. It's still got some guns. It still has some guns. Is this is this thing closing the distance yet? This thing is closing the distance. I think it's just going to stop there. Again, I think magic of editing time. Here we go. Gunfire coming in. It says on the thing this is stranded. I think that just means it's lost engines. I, yeah, it's still got guns it can bring to bear. <laughs> oh dear. I think it's all over for Lempont German. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Beautiful. 
Oil Well Space Battleship Yamoto wins. That was that was crazy. That was crazy. So yes, the new uh, new orbital AI. <laughs> I have a feeling. Uh, a feeling my mailbag streams are about to change quite a lot. <laughs> But that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I uh, hope you're uh, planning to go out and try this because uh, I I know I am. Yes, if you uh, if you have enjoyed it and you haven't already, then please consider liking, uh, subscribing, leaving a comment, possibly uh, following me on Twitter, maybe even getting involved with the Discord, Great BD Armory and KSP community on there, and more besides. Uh, all those links in the description, as are links to uh, to all these mods that I've mentioned, as well as the Patreon and the uh, PayPal. If you want to help support the channel, you too can get your own little Patreon kernel, not like not like Notri Kerman, like the ones I was I was kind of using earlier. <laughs> Not ideal there, uh, but yes, uh, your name at the end of the video is access to the Patreon and your Discord. Access to everything I upload to Patreon. Those last two very much a work in progress, so my apologies. Um, yes, but uh, as I said, that will be all for tonight. I'll be back soon with some more BD Armory. Um, until then, though, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.